What is up YouTube? This is Count Bladwin coming at you. How's everybody doing? Great, I hope. Well, it's Friday. I should be on the way home from the Smoky Mountains today. Um, so, unless we decide to stay a little longer and have some more fun. But, like I say, I should be on the way home today. Now, since I've started this channel and I do a lot with knives, I've been asked quite a few times what tools do I use on my knives. And so these are some of the tools that I use. They're really straightforward. They don't cost a lot. And I highly recommend these tools because if you go with a, uh, some cheaper sets, you know, you don't want to strip your screw out of your knife or anything because of a cheap tool. Now, uh, Weeha, you can get Weeha on Amazon. And the if, if I have to recommend any, this is the one that I would tell you to go ahead and get. Now, this is the Weeha bit driver quarter inch bit driver number 281 uh, this is you know pretty straightforward but this is a quarter inch bit driver and the the model number is 28103 so it's made in Germany if that tells you anything uh, so German engineered anything is going to be high quality so these run for about fifteen dollars and forty one cents on Amazon and like I say highly recommendable and this is a Weeha quarter inch bit selector oops uh, they go from anywhere from T5 up to T30 so you got T5 to T30, and then you get a bit driver extension with it. And these run for about $20.11 on Amazon. Uh, so this part number is 79242 on Amazon. And uh, so both together they're about $35.52 and that was tax and shipping and everything. This is the Wheeler uh, Precision Micro Screwdriver Set. This is another one that I highly recommend. Now the, we'll set these over here. Now Wheeler is real big in the firearms world. Um, I've got a Wheeler uh, inch pound torque wrench that I use on my firearms. So I got this to do scopes and stuff like that. This set runs for about $29.99. It's a quarter inch bit driver uh, Torx bit kit. Of course you can see there's Phillips, there's flat tips, there's different kinds of bits in here, U-bit, um, little nut drivers, so there's a little bit of everything in this kit. I did purchase this at Smoky Mountain Knife Works down in the firearm section in the bottom of, of Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Uh, when I bought it, it was twenty nine ninety nine. But I've since tried to find it on their website, and it's they don't have it on their website. I I couldn't find it. Now that doesn't mean that it's not there, but all the searching I did, I couldn't find this particular kit uh, on their website. But you can find it uh, on online at other places. So it's a 58 piece precision micro screwdriver set from Wheeler Engineering. 
if you want to want to look it up and I did find it on other websites and stuff and it was still $29.99 uh, so for $35 you can have the German engineered Weha or you can have the USA made um, per Wheeler Precision Screwdriver set for uh, $30. I preferred the Weha over the Wheeler for one simple fact is that the screwdriver for the Wheeler it's kind of small it's kind of you know not real large round so me having a torn ligament in my right arm the smaller the objects are the the faster my my arm will wear out so this is something particular that I don't care for so what I'll do is I'll just use my Weha bit driver and put in the quarter inch bit and then I could use these micro bits and just put the micro bit in the Weha. Now the reason why I, I say it, you want to spend the money is because I've seen cheap kits on many different types of jobs just strip out the screw and you know you don't really want to go through the hassle of getting a hold of the knife company trying to get some more screws to replace the one that you uh, stripped out and it's going to be a nightmare trying to get it out because you've stripped it out now so I do recommend having good bits uh, so this is my uh, Kaiser Assassin it's in 154 cm great steel uh, this sharpens real well holds its edge real well button lock I use this knife probably more than any uh, other than the little razor knife that I got in a box I do use it a lot so these are T6 and T8 I think that's what it looks like so here's T6 yeah so look how small that T6 is you don't want that stripping out the screw and being that you know it has one screw yeah so being that it's got one screw back here and then the pivot screw which is a T8 I'm pretty sure um, you don't want to strip that screw out for real so that's a T7 huh? is it a T7? I've never had this one apart so no it's T8 okay so it's T6, T8 and you, like I say, you don't want to take the chance of stripping these screws out when you're just trying to clean your knife or maintenance it, you know. So, like I said, uh, I've been asked multiple, multiple times how, um, what, what tools I use on my knives and uh, whatnot. So I just wanted to do a video and give y'all a look. Like I said, uh, the Weha bit driver is part number 28103 on Amazon. And it, when I purchased this one, it was $15.41. And then the Weha bit selector set was 79242 is the part number. And it went... It was 2011 when I purchased this. Of course, I pur purchased them both at the same time. This one I got uh, last year when I went to Smoky Mountain Knife Works. I do take uh, at least one trip a year and go to Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Uh, this year, I, I'm just getting lucky and get to go twice. 
but um you know i highly recommend this set because like i said you got all these micro bits of different stuff i hate this latch though of all these different style bits flat tips phillips u bit uh micro micro star drives you know uh yeah 0 0.08 star drive that is a tiny tiny buddy right there so you know this has a lot of stuff that you normally wouldn't see and you could use it with other things you know your xbox controller all kinds of stuff like that so do yourself a favor if you're into the knife world and you want to maintenance your knives and and keep them in top-notch condition uh, don't get cheap tools get some good tools and i highly recommend these if you're new to my channel thank you glad to see you here and i hope you enjoyed what you saw and also, uh, do me a favor, smash that like button, the subscribe button, and uh, I'd appreciate it. As I always say, I hope your belly's full, hope your refrigerator's full, for the love of everything, hope your gas tank full is full. That means your belly too. And we'll see you next time.